Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As always, we're going to see how we did last episode, see where we're at in the points, and see where we're going to head today. So thanks to some very timely caution at uh, Dover, we finished second place and that has bumped us up to 23rd in the standings. Super stoked on that, was not expecting to run anywhere close to the lead lap let alone the top 10. So finishing runner up is a huge boost to the team. So let's see where we're headed today. So for our first race in the month of June, let's head to Michigan International Speedway. And you know the drill, trade to practice. We don't need to change anything yet. Let's just see what kind of car the boys at the shop brought us. Now, if you do remember, we ran pretty well at Auto Club. This is a similar shape track. I think we did pretty darn good here in the trucks. So I think we have a chance to uh, keep on with the good finishes. Carlo. Sorry, Ryan. So I went ahead and made quite a few changes. I threw some grill tape on, made a couple air pressure and shock adjustments, and let's see if we get faster. Ooh, we definitely got looser off the corner, that is for sure. Oh, Neptune. Well, let's try that again. So I tightened up the car just a bit. Let's see if I did enough, went too far. Feels pretty all right going through the first corner. I believe in the trucks, we definitely built tighter as we went through the race. So I'll definitely have to keep an eye on what we do. Carlo. Yeah, car definitely seems tight coming off of the corner, so I might need to adjust that a bit more. Um, I'll run another lap or two just to see if anything changes and then make make the adjustments we need. I made another round of changes to try and tighten up the car a little bit coming off the corner, but so you know, it's Still there. not as squirrely when I get back to the gas. So we'll see Stay what high. kind Still of lap there. time we can put down. All clear. Who blowed up in practice? They didn't even hit a wall. The car head is Thought you had to hit a wall to blow up. Because I hit a lot of walls and I blow up a lot. Alright, that was our best lap yet. I think. Car high. It's clear. time to figure out qualifying. Yeah. And of course, we are almost two seconds off of Mark Martin. Awesome. Go, 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 go. We're going to pretend that didn't happen.
I think that was a pretty solid one and two. We'll see what kind of speed we can run through three and four. Definitely got back to the gas a little quicker than I should have. But we're fine. Let's see what kind of lap time we can get. Forty point six, so slower than practice, but let's see where we land. Eighteen. Yeah, two full seconds off of first place. Awesome. All right, Alan, tell us about Michigan. This is the Michigan International Speedway, home to the automobile industry and some great competition. If you like three and four wide racing, then Michigan's your track. This two mile trioval allows for great action with its high banks and wide surface. Located just outside the Motor City, drivers are always hoping to put on a great show for the auto industry here. Thanks, Alan. Get set. The race is going green. You're three wide. Car low. Clear high. Oh, come on. I can't even stick full throttle Car in the low. first set of turns. Man. All right, 26 laps, 10 laps of fuel, so definitely gonna stop twice. Oh, hey, Dale. Stay high, still there. Stay low, still there. Car high. Oh, car low, clear high. I took like all the downforce out of the car to car try low. and make it fast on the straights, and that may not have been my uh, Stay high. Still there. finest hour in car tuning. Ooh. Okay, guy. Oh, yep, yeah, he's spun. Yep. Yeah. There sure is, and I didn't Field cause it out. one bit. Alright, <laughs> we're gonna work on the car a bit because it's driving terrible. So we're coming in for the first stop. Looks like there's not a ton of takers, but definitely a few guys in front of us that are taking advantage of being able to stop. There's also quite a few lap cars already on pit road. I don't know if that crash was maybe bigger than I thought it was, but uh, that's a lot of cars. Look at that, we even beat people out of the pits. Let's go. The pace car is off. All right, it looks like we are going green this time. Restarting 29th, but we've got a couple extra laps of fuel and a lot of the field, so we'll see how it plays out. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Twenty to go. turn the wheel a little sharp there right. we're fine I definitely heard a crunch not my problem So I picked the wrong lane. <laughs> Three wide. Hold your 
wide. Yeah, let's go four wide. Seems like Hold a way line. better Clear idea. All clear. Yeah, I'm going like 10 miles an hour faster through this corner than I did the last set of corners. Like, definitely picked the wrong guy to get behind. <laughs> At least he saved it. <laughs> uh. Awesome. There's a spin in turn two. <sighs> the yellow is out. Well, at least the yellow is out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna assume we're gonna pit here. All right, bucket heads. Let's see how long this one takes. Ah, kept it under a minute this time. Good job. The only positive is with this being such a long track, there is a chance I don't lose my lap, but I'm still kind of assuming I'm going to lose it. And all the leaders are in now. But yeah, we lost the lap. Bit of a bummer, but at least it's not two, I guess. Yeah, P36, let's go. So for some reason I have moved ahead of the leaders. It might be starting me like I'm, you know, waving around, even though that is definitely not what happened, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so now they've moved me to the bottom. So, either way, I'm going to try like heck to uh, get my lap back and then see what happens. Maybe I'll get lucky with a quick caution or something, but who knows. The pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Oh, come on. I, uh, I clicked on something else, and then my controls didn't work when I clicked back on the game. <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. Well, I guess all I can do now is just drive as fast as I can and see what happens. Because there's no way I'm going to save five laps of fuel in the next ten laps. So there. Clear high. Oh, I, this car is so twitchy. <laughs> like, I thought I was smacking the wall there. I I made it faster for a lap, but I definitely destroyed the setup for racing. I I did a terrible job on this thing. Ten laps to go. Stay low, still there. All clear. Car low. We're fine.
I'm just overdriving the corners trying to do too much. <sighs> so aggravating. Car high. All clear. Stay low. Still there. Still there. All clear. Still there. All clear. You're all clear. I'm sure the last few laps here are going to be pretty boring as I don't really have anyone to pass and I'm just driving around. Cannot stay out of the wall on the back stretch. Still there. All clear. So I think we're coming up on, yeah, it's about to be five to go for us. Five laps to go. Yeah, we're three laps short. It's not worth trying to, trying to scam a good finish because it just isn't gonna happen. Oh, come on. Still there. Car low. Hey, Mark, don't do anything dumb. All clear. You're low on fuel. See, if I Car tried low. to do that move that Rusty just made. I would have clear high, car high. Oh. Car low. I think everything's fine. There's a wreck in turn two. Are we throwing a caution or not? You're low on fuel. Okay, guess not.
I'd say I absolutely nailed that. Two to go. I accidentally clicked no fuel, I think, when I was trying to put five seconds of or five uh, laps of fuel. If I run out because I accidentally clicked the wrong button, I'm going to be so mad. You're low on fuel. So I put in a lap of fuel. Sweet. And we're going to finish 35th. Sweet. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh. You're low on fuel. Well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. That could have been less awful, but uh, yep, that's the way she goes sometimes. Well, friends, sometimes we have good days and sometimes we finish 35th two laps down. I guess that's just the way it goes. Wonder how much money we lost this time around. Well, compared to how bad it could have been, only 17,000 in the red. Doesn't doesn't hurt too bad. Todd Turnell says it's race day, so it's hard to complain. But what was Mr. Racecore doing out there today? Well, I was crashing, and I was spinning, and I was running into stuff. That's what I was doing today. And with our 35th place finish, that drops us down to 25th in the points. It's still a pretty tight battle from 22nd down to where we are, so we definitely have room to move up, but bummer to, uh, you know, kind of steadily move up the last few weeks and then have a pretty bad week like this. And that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And leave a comment if you've got anything to say. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.